Hi everybody, it's Kerry here. If you want maximum control over your code placement, then you need CJT+. There's so many things Plus can do, but let's keep it simple. In this video, I'm gonna show you three examples. First, let's track our visitors with Google Analytics. This code needs to be added to our whole site. So let's see how easy it is with the Plus version of CJT. First, we're gonna create a new code block. I'm gonna call it Google Analytics, but you can call it what you like. Keep the location hook as header because this places the code in the, inside the head section as per Google's recommendations. I'm gonna copy my Google Analytics code here and paste the code inside the editor. And go to the AUX tab in the assignment panel, click the entire website checkbox and click save. That's it. It's so easy. But how do we know if the code has actually been added? Well, here's a tip. Take note of the block ID number. Mine is 239. Then go to any web page. Now look in your page source. So I right click and select view page source. Then run a find for this block ID number. And there it is. Now I know my Google Analytics code has been added. Okay, let's run through another example. We're gonna add a YouTube channel to a specific page on the site. So I'm gonna use an awesome third-party service called ElfSite. They've got so many cool widgets like this YouTube channel that I'm about to add. I've already created the widget for our own YouTube channel. So all I have to do is copy my code. Again, create a new code block and call it YouTube channel. Paste your copied code widget inside the editor. And this time we're gonna add it as a CJT shortcode. So just click save. Great, so I've already created a page called YouTube, which I can click the link here. I'm going to edit the page. Then click the CJT shortcode button here and choose YouTube channel. Now update. And that's it, job is done. Now you can view your page, check it out. How good is that? Fantastic. Let's do one more example. We're gonna add a sales pop-up to all pages except a few. Imagine you have hundreds of pages or posts on your site. You don't want to manually check each one. This inverter automatically activates all, allowing you to select the pages or posts you don't want. Let me show you how. Again, I'm using ElfSite to do this. Here is a sales pop-up widget I want to add. I'm gonna copy the widget code. Now create a new code block. I'm calling it sales pop-up. Paste the copied widget code in the editor. And now look to the bottom right for the inverter button. Yes, it's a small button, but it's so powerful. Click into the inverter panel. Click pages because I want to add the inverter to work on all the pages. Close the panel. And now select the pages I don't want the pop-up to show up on, which for me is the contact and the about us page. This will add my sales pop-up widget to every page except those two I've just selected. Now click save and we're done. Let's test this out. So we'll look at the blog page. So it will show up, there it is. And let's take a look at the fact page and you'll see it pop up. Okay, let's have a look at the contact us page. No widget. Okay, and the about us. 
there you go. So that's it people, three real life scenarios using CJT Plus, showing you a brief demo of the flexibility of this powerful plugin. Let CJT Plus save you frustration and time for your next WordPress project.